So hello guys, today we'll discuss the three topics of three concepts of HTML that is links, lists and tables. So first of all, we'll discuss about HTML links. So HTML links are uh, you uh, HTML links are defined with the help of a tag. So uh, we'll now try to define the HTML links in our HTML code. So I'll write a tag here and you can see that in the same tags we have to specify the URL that we want to open okay through our link so we'll use href href attribute and we will provide the value that is that will provide the value like www.google.co.in this URL I will use as a value and I will give the link text like Google so this I will open into browser now and save it and now you can see that the link has been created that is google when i click on this link it will open the google.co.in okay so this is about the html link with the help of a tag now in ta in my syntax you can see that there is a target attribute so why to use target attribute target attribute specifies where do you do you want to open the link so if i want to open my link in a new page or a new tab then that time i have to specify the target attribute now in target attribute there are four values that is underscore plan that will open the link into new tab then underscore parent that will open the link into uh, the parent frame then underscore self that is the default value of your e tag that will open your link into same uh, pay, uh, window or same tab and then underscore top that will open the link in the full body of your window so now we'll implement the underscore blank attribute here and we'll see the output that how it is going to okay so here when i click on google this link now it is opening into new tab so this way you can use your target attribute to give the location or to give the uh, uh, target of for your link for your hyperlink where do you want to open it so this is about your uh, so you can implement other attribute so this way you can uh, uh, we, uh, you uh, you can define the uh, html links by using a tag well the task for you that is you you have to create an html link html link to access youtube and open it into it into new tab so take the reference of this code and try to create your own link of youtube so you can pause this video and you can write your answer in your notebook okay so i hope you have written the answer in your notebook we'll continue with the next point that is lists so in html we can create list so you all will be familiar with the uh, lists concept so html lists are of two types the first type is unordered list and second type is ordered list so first we'll see an ordered list so the, to define an ordered list you can use ul tag ul stands for an ordered list and to define list item you can use lr tag so we will uh, we'll define your list item one and then i will define list item two and list item three and now it will display it into browser we'll save it here now you can see that html lists are displayed like this unordered list so by default the unordered lists are uh, shown or they are represented by using bullets or disks you can change this symbol also so to, to change the symbol of your uh, uh, HTML and order list, you can use style attribute in your UL tag, starting tag. And here you can use list dash style dash type. This property you can use and in property you can use, uh, if I want to use a circle, okay, so we'll use circle. You can see that 
the circle is circle symbol is used for uh, representing the list items now you can use square also now you can see that the square symbol is used also you can use you can hide the symbols okay now you, with the help of none this style type uh, you can hide the symbols also so this way there are uh, different uh, list style uh, type uh, list style type uh, symbols that is a circle disk square and none so this way you can define the unordered list now come to the uh, ordered list so order list are defined with the help of ol tag so i can use ol tag here i will remove this style so you can use ol tag so inside this the uh, remaining things will be same so you ol tag you can use now you can see uh, the ol tag displays the order list which is uh, ordered from or which is started from which is starting from one okay so from one it is going into order manner one two three so again you if you want to change the uh, numbers like in order list you can use uh, roman numbers you can use abcd for ordering the list so that you can also use here in your or uh, that you can change with the help of type attribute so you can use type attribute in your um, ol tag ol starting tag where you can use a as a type and now you can see the HTML lists are lists are ordered alphabetically uppercase alphabetically okay so that you can change uh, with the uh, lowercase alphabets also you can see again it is now replaced with the lowercase alph alphabets that is you can replace with the info roman letters now you can see that it is ordered by roman letters uh, lowercase roman letters again you can replace it with the uppercase roman letters you can see now the list items are uh, ordered uh, with the help of uh, uppercase roman letters so this way you can um, define your order list in html and you can change the symbols also now uh, the task for you that is what are the types of html lists and write an html code for it so this task you have to complete take the reference of this uh, code that i explained here you can pause this video and you can write your answer in your notebook okay i hope you have uh, written the answer in your notebook now come to the next point that is html tables now html tables are defined with the help of table tag so now we can define the table so everyone knows what is table that table we can define in html also so how to define table so use table tag so inside table tag to define table header you can use ts tag to define table rows you can use tr tag so first of all i will use tr tag because i want to define first row and then inside first row i want to define a table data or table column so that we can define with the help of td tag okay or uh, first of all i want to define table header so i'll use ts tag here so i'll use serial number as a first column first then name as the second column okay and then i will come to the next row so I, again i will use tr tag in next row i will define the table data or column with the help of td tag so here i will write one and then with the help of td tag i will write my name so dosh then again i will go further and i will define another row so td i will write two number here serial number and then td and then i will write here suppose so ABCD. Okay, so this way I define my table here. Now we'll uh, see the output in in the browser. Okay, now you can see the table has been created, but without border. Here the serial number column is created, name column is created. 
so one two these are the two rows and their data one is the serial number and the name is santosh the two is the serial number and then abcd is the name so you can observe that this this creates the first table header column this creates the second table header column in the first row okay then in the second row it is creating this first column first cell that is one and then it is creating second cell later that is santosh again this creates this tr tag create this third row inside that it creates this is first column and it will have the two it is having a two value and this is second column that shows abcd value so now we'll see that if i want to use border so we'll use border with the border attribute so you can use border attribute here and i will use one value now you can see that the border is applied here but it is in different style uh, you can see the uh, uh, the borders are uh, the first border is applied to the table and second other borders are there wrapped again, uh, around the text here but i don't want the border like this so i can use another style so in detail we'll display, uh, discuss this these styles into css but right now just for understanding uh, understand the style attribute here so in style attribute i can use uh, border dash collapse so this uh, property i can use and then collapse value i can use here and i will uh, save it now you can say that that the distributed uh, borders which are the uh, whatever distributed borders were there that are a uh, collapse that are merged into a single border so this way you can uh, define table in html now if i want to do a row span and column span in, in this table so we'll see that here again so we'll write i will create one table header here so okay and then i'll do one thing here so i'll do call span is equal to okay so this i will do here call span equal to So you can see that in my table the the second row that is this is the second uh, santosh cell that occupied that has occupied two columns here so this way you can use call span in your uh, table in html table and similarly if i want to do row span here so i'll use it here again row span is equal to two and now you can see that it has occupied the second row of my second okay the two rows of my table so that is first row and second row so this way you can use call span and row span in your table then if i want to use the background for a color for my cell in the table i can use bg color property with the help of bg color i have changed the color of this serial number cell to red so so in detail we'll discuss this table into css but right now remember about these things that is we can apply the border we can set the border with the help of border attribute we can collapse the border with the help of border dash collapse uh, property of sty uh, style uh, with the help of style attribute then we can set the background color of a cell with the help of bg color attribute and uh, we can do row span uh, with the help of rows rows span row span attribute we can do column span with the help of call span uh, attribute so this is about your html table now the task for you here that is uh, you write an html code to show a table of schedule okay you you create your own schedule okay you uh, create your own schedule table 
and that that you have to write in your notebook so so that's all about these topics so thank you for watching my video if you have any doubt or questions you can share uh, you can share that 